to my channel so today you're very zoomed in because it's a fun makeup video. We are preparing for a fun makeup video that I'm doing after this but I thought it would be fun to do makeup with products I forgot I had. So I have a lot of products that have just been sitting there that I honestly haven't touched in a long time. Long time. I honestly forgot I had half of these. And I want to retry them and see how I like them. Um, there's a few products that I just like, you know. I think it's been like probably a couple years. Alrighty, so the first product that I have is the Farsali Unicorn Essence Skin Enhancing Antioxidant Serum. I think I bought this like three years ago. I don't know. I know I used it a lot in my previous videos and I know I had it when I lived at home. So it's been at least, well I mean over six months at least, but I know that it's been longer than that. I think it's been at least a year or two or three. I'm not sure, but we're gonna use it. Um, and then for foundation, um, we're going to use the Physician Formula Organic Wear Silk Foundation with Jojoba Oil. This was separated when I pulled it out. I had to shake it. Um, I bought this God knows how long. It was definitely in 2021. <laughs> so it's been a while. So we're going to use this. I remember not really liking it, which is why I haven't reached for it, but we're going to reach for it now. And we're going to also use the Mac Studio Fix Plus or Fix, Fix thing. And I have it in NW13. I haven't touched this since I bought it. Um, I mean, the thing's gone, but I haven't touched this guy since I bought that. And I know I bought it... I know I bought it when I went to Victoria, so I want to say two years ago when I went with my family. And then for contour, I'm going to be using the Physician's Formula Sculpting Bronzer Stick. I got this a long time ago. You, I think you guys probably, if you watch my channel, you've probably seen the video, but I know I did a video testing this, and I did really like it. I, I guess I just, you know, I love the Cash Beauty and the Rare Beauty ones, so that's probably why I just stopped using this one. Um, so we're going to give it another shot. Same with the Organic Wear Dewy Blush Elixir. I didn't really like this because of the pump. You just squeeze out way too much. But we're going to give it another shot. And, of course, the Physician Formula Organic Wear Dewy Highlighter. Once again, I didn't really like this but we're going to give it another shot because we're not going to go in thinking that. We're going to go in thinking these are going to be great. Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, I like Physician's Formula. I love their butter bronzer. Um, and I, I really do like their products. It's just, you know, I just haven't used them in a while. So we're going to use them now. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Born This Way Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Have not touched this in a few years. I mean, it's been a while. And for powder, I'm using the Huda Beauty Pound Cake um, Travel Powder. Um, for bronzer, I'm using this NARS Laguna Bronzer. I think I've used it once and I got this a long time ago. So, using that guy. For blush, again with the NARS, got this well over two years ago. Haven't touched it since. This is the NARS Orgasm Brush. Blush. Actually, you know, I might have used it since then. I don't know, what, but it's been a while. So we're going to use this guy. Um, for mascara, we're using the Dream Big Pacifica Natural Beauty. 
This has got the length and the volumizing in one, so you just twist the top and it switches the brush, which is really cool. I don't know why I stopped using this. I guess we'll find out. Uh, for eyeliner, this doesn't have a name. It's just got a bunch of dragons on it. So it's something to do with dragons. Glue is the same. And then for lashes, I'm going to be using these Cash Beauty lashes. Um, this was a while ago. <laughs> so these are in Trance. This was from the Color Strip collection that she came out with. So, yeah. I'm going to use these. Alrighty, I'm tired. Alright, so right off the bat, now I remember why I stopped using it. It's because the applicator is broken, so it doesn't squirt down as proper. Um, and it feels nice. It feels hydrating. It's not bad. It does feel a little bit sticky to the touch. But it's alright. I just wouldn't use it due to the stickiness and to the applicator not working. Thing I'm noticing right now is that it's very light coverage um, it's it's a medium medium coverage I would say and also it's a little bit too light for me definitely the wrong shade but hopefully we can bronze it up but overall it's so far pretty good we'll see how it wears so for concealer, we're going to be using the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in shade Marshmallow. I think it oxidized or it's, it's, it's going to be too dark. It's too dark. This will definitely need to be fixed. Um... You know, it's bundling out nicely. Like, I think if I used the proper foundation that's actually my shade, it would look really nice. I think just using it with the foundation that's like a shade too light for me is why it's looking so dark. Because I know I used to use this shade all the time. But it is blending out really nice. And it's very full coverage. Like it's covering my circles, coming covering the summer blemishes I get from being allergic to everything outdoors. The only thing I have noticed is that my eye kind of burns a little bit in like this specific area here. But I'm not too sure if that's just due to sensitization of like my normal, um, well the thing is that's never happened with any other concealers, but that can also happen if I rub it too much and I'm just not sure if I rubbed it too much today, but I don't remember rubbing it. So very well could be because the concealer, I mean it is an old concealer so. So I'm first going in with the bronzer. So this is again the sculpting bronzer. I know that I really did like this when I used it. And I think it's just because I like the Cash Beauty one and the Rare Beauty one a little bit more just for me. Um, 
and that's probably why I stopped using this one. It was also at the back of my collection. <laughs> so I'm just putting it everywhere. Looks like a clown. Here's what I'm worried about. So with this, I just pump a little bit on my hand. This is kind of like the Rare Beauty, um, the Rare Beauty blush thing. So I'm just going to apply initially some on. And then when we blend, blend the cream contour, we'll put a little bit more on. I just want to have a base down for it to blend into the contour. Actually, I do, I do like this blush. It's actually pretty nice. So what do you guys do for the summer? Because for me, this is a very different summer than my summer last year. Because my summer last year, I was at home, you know, my parents would barbecue, and I'd sit outside with them, and I mean, I still do that, but it was very different because, you know, living at home is very different than not, so for the most part, I need to find my own entertainment. I also wasn't working as much last year. I'm not even sure if I was working last year. I don't remember. <laughs> Um, but for me, this year consists of working pretty much seven days a week between Sally's and Salvage, um, then coming home and filming. Thank you so much for my TikTok hitting 18k, can't believe it. I'm so excited to share more of these series with you guys. I know you guys on TikTok are looking forward to it. So I'm very, very excited. I'm going to be filming one right after this, which is what we're getting ready for. Um, so yeah, it consists of working and then when I get home, filming because I'm doing more like of the earlier shifts. Fingers crossed that doesn't change. Um... So I'm really enjoying it, and once I come home and film, or I'll make something to eat and film, but I always make sure to get at least like a video or something in the day, whether it's just like a talking video, or a makeup video, or something, just something, some sort of content. It doesn't even have to be a YouTube video, just some content, so I'm always ahead of schedule. And then after that, I will either sit outside, depending on the heat, because the heat is so much right now. It's literally like 30 degrees, and it's, it, it's hot. <laughs> but if it cools down in the evening, once I finish filming, I will sit outside and edit. Or I'll sit in the office and edit some videos and do some posts or I will um you know once that is done or work on school and then like uh, once that is done then I usually just like get some ice cream or a, like a summery drink and sit um, in my living room with the blinds open and just enjoy the sunshine it doesn't usually get dark till like 10 o'clock here now. Yeah, so I watch a movie. I've been really enjoying doing that. But for summery fun activities, if I ever have time, um, usually I'll just uh, work a little bit later into the night if I want to have the day off the next day. Um, I will hit the beach or go for really like I have a nice walking area where I live so I'll go and walk there which I really enjoy doing um or I will just uh you know sit outside and enjoy the sunshine or go to like Starbucks and edit there outside with a drink 
I really like doing that too. Even though it's expensive. Um, I enjoy walking to work. I did that today. Um, it took me an hour and about an hour and a half, I would say, to get there. But it was really worth it. I really enjoy walking. Um, you know, good exercise. It makes me feel more fulfilled in the day if I had a good workout. Even if I have drunk right after. <laughs> it just makes me feel more that I did good stuff that day. So that's usually what I'll do. Or I'll like go for a drive with my friends or even by myself, you know, I'll just go for a drive. Jason loves the car so I'll go and get him and we'll drive. I really like going down to the marina and just watching the sunset or just, you know, watching the waves. It's really nice down there. Just the little things, you know, like I don't really go to parties. I don't hang out with a lot of people. I just like to do simple things. Alrighty, so I actually loved all three of those products and probably will be using them way more now. Um, I don't know why I ever stopped using them, you know, they're actually really good. They blended in nicely, they blended together nicely. I really like them. I'm just gonna apply smidges more blush. Just smidges. I remember there's nothing wrong with this product, I just stopped using it because I didn't like the puff. But it's a pretty good product. I just really did not like the applicator of it. It's kind of hard to get around your eye. To get a precise leg around your nose. Because you stab yourself with the lid. But you know, you can always, I guess, go in with a brush, but... I mean, if a product comes with an applicator, I want to be able to use the applicator. Um, so just underneath the contour, I'm going to go in with the MAC Studio Fix, and I'm just going to add a little bit to revive some of the color down there, chisel out the cheeks, do a better powder. <laughs> This is all right, you know, I, I do like this stuff, you know, it gives it the extra coverage, it's a good color, it's not cakey, I do like this. I don't know why I stopped using it, I think it's just because I don't use a lot of MAC products anymore. So, so I'm going to go in with a fluffy, like a big fluffy brush. This is literally the travel size. And I think I stopped using it because it was like very intense. But that could have just been because I was going with a heavy hand. Because I know I have improved on my technique over the past couple of years. And there's nothing wrong with this bronzer. It's actually quite nice. I really think it was just that I had a heavy hand and wasn't applying it properly. That does sound like me. And then for blush, I think this was just too pink for me, but we'll find out. Yeah, this is very pigmented and I actually do like it. Once again, I think it was just my technique was different. And this is why you need to go back and you need to retest makeup that you haven't tested in a while because your technique changes all the time and products you didn't like a while ago are gonna change. 
because you might like them now since your technique and your preference changed. So definitely test them out and I actually really like that. So I'm going to take the Jeffree Star Cosmetics. My sleeve keeps coming down. I'm going to take the Jeffree Star Cosmetics um, Supreme Frost or Supreme, yeah, Supreme Frost and Frozen Peach. I got this in one of the, like his kits. Oh, I can't get my chair. Oh, there we go. So I got this in like one of his um, mystery boxes or something and I haven't really used it, so. That is glowing. Look at that. Yelda. We are glowing to the gods today. So for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Color Festival 20 Color and the BH Cosmetics Sylvia Ghani. I remember getting this and that was a long time ago. So we're going to be using both. Because I haven't touched both in a long time. Um, so we're going to be doing an eyeshadow look to prepare for the TikTok we're about to film. So yeah. I'm not really going to do a tutorial on this because of it being, you know, the, the, the look. Okay, so I'm starting off with the BH Cosmetics uh, X Sylvia Ganey eyeshadow palette. And I'm going in with unapologetic and putting that right into the crease and then I'm going to be taking denim from the uh, BH Carnival palette or the festival color thing yeah and I'm going to be putting that right on the lid and then for the next eye I'm again going back in with the Sylvia Ganny and I'm going in with Night Owl putting that all in the crease adding a little bit of pop from the color festival palette and then I'm going in with Hazel, back with the Sylvia Gatti palette, going with Hazel and putting that right on the lid. And then I'm going in with Groove on this eye, or sorry, Sequins on this eye and on the eye I'm doing right now, I'm going in with Groove just to add some pop of colors underneath. And now we're going to actually take the mascara and this is the Dream Big Beauty Mascara, the Natural Beauty. And like, I don't think you can see that, but... It like turns. The bristles change. So... I'm going to do lengthening first. Oh, I see. So it doesn't, the bristles don't change. It, the spoolie actually gets shorter and thicker. That's pretty cool. So I'm just going to lengthen them first. Nice, nice. Beautiful. But uh, you have the lashes. They went on so nicely. They look really cute, and they're giving my nice my eyes a nice shape. I'm in a trance. I really like them. So we're going to now do the lips. And a product I haven't used in a long time is the Kaja Air Heart Lipstick. It's in the shape of a heart. It's actually really cute. Really, really cute. I haven't used it in a really long time. I mean, like, when you apply it, it goes into a heart shape. It's a beautiful color. And it's very creamy. I think I just stopped wearing it because... Well, when I eat a lot. 
and talk a lot. And of course during COVID, you know, like you're wearing your mask and this doesn't dry down. So it transfers very easily. It's very creamy, which is really nice because it feels very moisturizing. But it doesn't dry down. So like with the mask, it would just come off. You know, when you're eating, it comes off. When you're talking, it comes off. So it's just a really good product to use when you're not going to be doing a lot of stuff. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. What are some products that have been sitting in your collection that you should probably try out? So definitely go do that. It is so worth it. We found some new faves. We found some new favorites. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please get a thumbs up and join the family. We are doing so much variety content and Halloween's coming up. Do you guys know? You know it's going to be jam time. It's jam season. It's... I don't know what I'm going with that, but definitely, definitely join the family. And if you want to follow all my other socials, they're all linked down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.